is Levi. Welcome to another Siler Quick Tip. So today uh, I'm going to show you just how to create uh, an FXL in the Feature Definition Manager. I'm just going to create a small one here and then show you how to get it onto the collector. And then also uh, from there what the codes look like when you're inside Access uh, doing Topo. Um, and so first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to, once we have Feature Definition Manager open, uh, this is included with the TVC install. Whether you have a license or not, uh, you can install TVC onto your computer and Feature Definition Manager will be part of that install. So we're going to click on uh, New. So as you can see, um, here's the new file. We have our line control codes, our block control codes, and groups. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to just create some um, line control codes. And so we can see we have uh, if we right click on this, then we just go to new and we could create a new category if we want. Uh, so in this new category, we'll just call it roads. In this new category and in here, we're going to add a uh, line feature definition. And so you can see the name, we're going to call this top of curb. And then you can choose whatever code you want. Uh, if you have a set number of codes, this is how you will put those in, uh, whether you're using um, alpha codes or, or numeric codes. Uh, so we're just going to do, I'm just going to put in 120 for this. You could also put in TC. Uh, you can put in whatever you want. And then this line style right here, um, this is important. Um, you choose this and then uh, if you want the line color, you can make it solid or dashed, uh, and then label, you can change all these, the scale of it. Uh, and then color, you can do it by layer or you can choose what color you want. So let's just make that black uh, for top of curb. And then um, you can set it in its own point layer and, and all of this, uh, however you decide that you want it both in the collector and then also how it's gonna read in TVC. So we have top of curb, and then you can see that this is how it will look uh, in TVC and then. Uh, so then we're going to do another. Um, we will add a line feature definition or line control code. And so with this, this will be, you can choose from anything. So we're just going to name this uh, start of line. And then the code, we're just going to make that code ST. So you can see start of new line joining sequence. So we're gonna say okay to that. Um, then we're gonna add another line control code. And end of line, ends the line joining sequence. And then we're just gonna make it end. And then we will add gutter as well. So we'll do a line definition, we'll call this gutter. We'll just call this 121. Again, you can name this uh, whatever you would like. So we are going to make this, we're going to make the gutter red. So we're going to leave everything like that. So as we can see, this is how the line will appear. It'll be uh, red in there. So just a basic quick, so these are lines. Uh, you could also create if you wanted a point feature definition. So uh, let's just call this uh, spot concrete. And we're going to do this one 22. So what this will be is this will just create a point. Uh, so if you want to just take a spot shot for elevation uh, or anything like that, then you can just take this and it'll be a point. Now, if you need to create a line, then you will use these line control codes. So, um, so from here, then what we're going to do is we're just going to save this. So you can see I have a few um, FXLs up here. So we are just going to name this example. And we're going to save that. And then that sample is what we're going to grab off the collector. Uh, so I would recommend... Um, putting this on a jump drive. So where that was saved, 
Uh, so as you can see, um, I already saved it. We'll go to CVS. But so in my documents, feature definition manager, that's where it is. Uh, so you can obviously, as you're saving it, choose where it's going to go. Uh, if you already have a jump drive in, um, I will plug in my external hard drive, just that way that it is in there. And here that is. And I will just add this as well onto there. So if you already have a jump drive plugged in, uh, it makes it a little easier. So we'll save that. So now that is on my jump drive and that is all on the computer side. And uh, in a second, I will show you what it looks like on the collector. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you on the collector how to get that FXL, uh, where to put it on the collector, and then also just create a job really quick. Uh, show you how to attach the FXL to, or the feature library to the job, <clears throat> and then do a couple points, just show you what it'll look like when you're out in the field. So I have uh, my external hard drive that I have that FXL on, have that plugged in. So I'm going to go in, uh, remember we named it the example FXL. So I'm going to copy that, and then I am going to go into my system files. So most of the time you will have it um, in the quick access, but I don't. So go into the system files, and then we are just going to paste that example FXL right into um, the system files, and then we can exit out of there. So we're going to open up access. Uh, so a lot of times, uh, depending on if uh, it's built from scratch or if you have a list set out, um, you'll have points, lines, feature codes, uh, everything. And you might also have uh, different feature libraries. So I would recommend if you update your feature library, it'll be a new FXL, but maybe just keep uh, all of those FXLs uh, on the collector just for reference in case something goes wrong. So uh, we are going to just create a new project, call it example, and then we're gonna create job. We're gonna just call it the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it at just scale of one um, and just do this. The survey fee, just get all these changed over. And so most of the time, this will all already be set if you have a template set up. So we're gonna accept that. Uh, so then feature library right here. We're gonna go on this. If you have multiple FXLs in the system files, they'll all show up here. I only have the one, so I'm gonna click on that. And then that's what we'll be using. So for this, I'm just gonna key in some points just to show you. Uh, we'll do points, uh, so for this, if you're measuring a topo, it would look the same. Uh, so we're just gonna start with point one. And then in the code, those codes that I created, as you can see, they're right here. So if you click on that, it's gonna allow you to search through your codes. Most of the time, you're gonna have a lot more codes. Uh, so you can either, if you know what the code is or what you're gonna do. So for example, we're gonna start with uh, 120, we're gonna start that line. So I'm just gonna start typing it in uh, another thing that you can do is you can just click on whatever you want to do. Uh, you can combine multiple lines um, if you want. So I could do a 120 start and I could do a 121 uh, start on the gutter if, if both of them start at the same spot. But so start off, we're going to do 120. We're just going to do 100, 100, 1, store. And then we're gonna go. So you can see there is my first point. So uh, we're gonna take this ST off because we've already started our line. So we're gonna keep that at 120. So we're just gonna do 105. We're just gonna make it go north. And we'll name that one again. Store. Uh, so as you can see, it's created, a, the line is black. Uh, on here, we set the line color as black in the FXL. Uh, it'll make the line whatever you want it to look like. This is important if you really want to distinguish. Let's say you want things that are underground like utilities and everything to be dash lines. You can change that uh, line style to a dash line and it'll show up as a dash line in here. We're gonna name this 110, 101. And this will be, we're just gonna 
create it uh, three points. So we're going to do N so that it ends that line. And then we're going to store and zoom to our extent. So as we can see, we have those three here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the gutter on the way back. So the gutter is 121, but we're going to start that line. We're going to do enter and then start it at 110. But then we'll go over a couple feet to 102 and then do the zero store. Uh, so as you can see, there's it's just the point right now. Um, we're going to take that ST off because we're doing our line. So then this will be 105, 102, 0, and store. And if you remember, uh, when we created the gutter, we made it red. So that is how it's going to show up when you're in the field. So we are ending this line. So we're going to end. And then this will be 100, 102, 0, and store. So there's our two lines that we have. Uh, as you can see, and then also we created a point code. So this, uh, if you remember, 122 was just a point. Uh, so we could do this and we'll just do 106. We'll just put it somewhere random in store. And then we'll do, uh, we'll zoom to our extent so we can see it. Then we'll do another one. And another one. And as you can see on this, they're just points. And so this is just nothing's connected to them, no lines or anything. You have your lines over here. And that's FXL and what your line feature codes uh, and everything will be. Uh, there's a lot more digging that you can do in that feature definition manager, how to create lines, different uh, control codes that you can do. You can create curves. Uh, there's a lot of things in there um, to look into, but this is the basics of how to create an FXL. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at silogeo.com and be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.